bro, can you hear me over there? Yeah, I can hear you perfect. I see new CVs, sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> I know, Mitchell's getting jealous. Mitchell needs one now. Sorry, what's that? Say it again, Mitchell needs to hear that. Mitchell needs a CV. <laughs> so another parking lot mod. Logan hooked it up with the CB radio. Got the antenna jammed out of the hood. Fits pretty nice actually. So what we got going on here is CB radio installed. Pretty good. Got the wires running. Wherever. Antenna. Power supply. I'm pretty pumped about it. It's gonna be nice now because Mitchell's gonna buy one today. Oh man, they're trying to peer pressure me into buying a CB radio. Yeah, well, when we hit the trails and you lose service and you're lost and stuck in something and you can't get out, <laughs> it helps to have one. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna buy one now because I'm getting peer pressured by the boys, so. <laughs> Both the boys got their Canadian flags on. Canada Day's coming up right away here, so perfect time to get them going. But yeah, I need to get, need to get mine mounted up, so part of the club. He's got some beautiful tire shine going on right there on his tire. And he's actually got his mounted up with a, a piece of bamboo. Because <laughs> that was the best selection at Dollarama, I guess. So they picked that up and did it up in the parking lot. Looks pretty good. And then in the last video, me and Braden had our color changing LEDs and Logan was all left out. So the other day they went to Canadian Tire, which is just a store here, and they picked up some strips and got them all hooked up. The said he bought, cost it 50 bucks. So he's got a strip of lights up there and one on the other side over there, kind of like Braden has hooked up on the top of his windshield. And then he's got this little cool changer there with all the colors, which is pretty sweet for only 50 bucks. So yeah, you guys will see that once it gets dark. Shit, why is that flag so fucking it's long, bro? It's five feet long. Holy smokes, bro. Oh, fuck that shit, I want this flag. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up, bro. Yeah, no problem. Okay, but you're buying a CV radio now, so fuck. Right. From the looks of things, Braden's getting gronked out right now. Is that true, bro? A new sweater today, my mommy bought me. Oh, nice, it's out of focus, shit. <laughs> Just finished putting on some tire shine for the first time in this truck's life. Nice and black now. Going to cruise night, gotta, gotta make them look like pavement princesses for a while this time. Since they are all muddy last time. Decided to move the flag over there. Instead of having it there because it was a little bit sketchy there, so so threw a couple self-tapping screws in the side of the box. Just sturdy now. I guess I'm buying a CB radio. You don't have a fucking choice. I made you a flagpole for God's sake. Yeah, this thing will turn black in a second if we hit the mud, bro. It's right in line with that back tire too. Canadian flag. Canadian flag. Canada flag. Now the rim is too dirty for the tire, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little rim job, eh? Oh yeah, look at how shiny that looks. This truck probably has no idea what's going on with all this shine. Alright guys, so right now we're heading to this place that sells CB radios and we're gonna hopefully pick me up one for not too, too expensive. And then we're probably gonna bring all that shit back to where cruise night is and in the big parking lot there and do a little install in the parking lot. And then we'll have that mounted up and be all good, it'll be awesome. So, see you guys soon. And there's this weird ass rain cloud right here. It's like raining in one little spot. It's like sunny over there, sunny over there. Pretty fucking weird. Let the boys rolling back there, too. And by the way, in case you're wondering, yes, I am Johnny Bravo. Toast to the days when they wasn't out to get me. I worked at JD's Connections whenever Jason let me. C says I was buying fittings every day. Here you go, all you Ford viewers out there. Here's a nice clean Ford for you guys. On 35s, what's the lift on it? Uh, four inch BDS. Four inch BDS. Looks tall though. I guess that's because it's an F350 though. Got the side exiting exhaust. What'd you do to your finger there, bud? <laughs> fucking slammed it between a tailgate. Oh no. Yeah. That's pretty brutal, Just man. Just dickered it. Are you mad? Kind of. Let's see. Another day, another beer, right, man? Oh yeah. <laughs> another day, another beer. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Here's the color change that he's got on his now. Hell yeah, buddy. Looks good. 
Now you're not the only one without color changing shit. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Oh yeah, buddy. Got that color? Got that color? It is going insane in there. Yeah, buddy. So just to let you know, this video was filmed before our last Q&A and didn't get around to posting it until just now. And for some strange reason, I didn't end up filming my CB radio that I got and installed during the time of this video. But it's definitely there. I got ended up buying the CB radio. I think it costed around like $160, $170. And it's been well worth it. I've got a lot of great use out of it so far. So. Definitely glad the boys peer pressured me into getting that CB radio. And I would go show you guys right now, but it's actually dark outside. And the next video that I'm going to be posting after this one, it has a crazy adventure video of all three of us going on a camping trip that just happened this past weekend. And we used the CB radios driving all the way there to the camping spot. And it was just sweet. So you guys will see that. I'll give you a little teaser video right now. Yeah, yeah. Just chilling right now in the best tent set up ever in the world. <laughs> right on boys. Successful camping trip. No fucking way dude. That is so far. Oh my God. Holy shit. And Britain <laughs> dies today. <laughs> Honestly guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this next video. It's pretty sweet. It's definitely the best adventure I've gone on this year so far. And it's definitely one for the book, so. You guys have to watch the video that we made with it. So as you guys can tell by the title of the video, my truck did end up breaking again. So yeah, I'll just show you guys all the clips right now. God damn it guys. My poor baby. It'll be okay. Damn. So basically what happened was my wheel bearing went and I was driving to work that day and I was probably like 10 or 5 minutes away from uh, where I was working that day and all of a sudden I just felt the whole truck start wobbling and shaking and making bad noises from that front uh, driver's side wheel and I was like okay shit this is bad. <laughs> so I stopped the truck on the side of the road, didn't even know if I was going to make it to work at all. And I checked that shit out and ended up burning my finger because I touched my rotor or something like that, but it was stupid. And anyways, for me and my truck, here's the thing. I can't just pay like 150 bucks or some bullshit like that and get a cheap Chinese wheel bearing assembly. And the reason for that is one, I have two inch wheel spacers, which adds a lot of extra tension and load onto that wheel bearing. And two, we go hard and we actually use our trucks off-roading and shit. Like, it's not like I'm just driving this on the road every day and it's not going to be put to work. So I need something that's not going to go in like a month or so. So paying for an American-made top brand wheel bearing hub assembly, it's, it's really pricey actually. I was not expecting it to be as expensive as it was, but it honestly ended up costing me like $300 just for the wheel bearing hub assembly. And that's Canadian dollars of course, everything's more expensive here to begin with, but yeah, $300 for that and then, and with all the other bullshit that was part of that equation, it ended up costing me $567 just to get that shit fixed and got it towed from work and all that shit, so that was a strong hit, that sucked, but you know what? What can I say, it's all part of the game, same old, same old. But anyways guys, the truck is all fixed up now, that was from a little while ago, that video that you saw there, so. It's all good now. We went on that road trip with it and it's still holding up all strong. Knock on wood. So that's all good. 
Just thought I'd share that with you guys in this video though. But anyways guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's video. But like I've already said in this video, make sure you guys do not miss next week's video. It's literally going to be the most insane video ever. Honestly guys, you do not want to miss out on this video. So much time is going to be going into editing this video, and we've already put so much time into filming this video, so you guys just have to see it. So on that note, I will see you guys next Thursday, because you got to be there for the new video. And until then, everybody have a great week, and I'll see you guys later. What a wonderful world.